Review 2023 Ford F-150 Raptor R shoves more power at the problem. The 2021 Ford F-150 Raptor arrived with a problem. It had been surpassed by the Ram TRX and no longer marked peak truck. In the most American solution possible, Ford has thrown more power at the Raptor to create the 2023 Ford F-150 Raptor R and thus solved the issue. That roar you heard last Monday was me in the 700 horsepower Raptor R, sorry, not sorry. The Raptor R shoves a supercharged V8 under the hood of the blue ovals fully loaded, Barger-inspired pickup and supersizes the price to $109,375 to put the Raptor back in the hunt as one of the most ridiculous trucks money can buy. Ford unleashed me in a Raptor R at Michigan Silver Lake State Park to rip through sand dunes and fly through the air. It became a contest of which limits would be reached first, mine or the trucks. Finally, V8 Fire and Fury. As the gap between the lead Raptor R and mine widened on the pitch black highway at 6.15 a.m., I mashed the Raptor RS Go pedal. The truck's front end visibly lifted as the rear squatted and the truck shot forward. Running in barger mode with the exhaust baffles open, the exhaust roared to decibel levels that would definitely annoy the neighbors and maybe alert any local police. Laughing maniacally I said to no one, hey! Ford fixed the Raptor's power problem. The Raptor R is terrific in its outrageousness. The Raptor's twin-turbo 3.5-liter V6 with its perfectly adequate 450 horsepower and 510 pound-foot of torque has been cast aside for our duty. By Felicia. In its place is the Mustang Shelby GT500 supercharged 5.2-liter V8 rated at 700 horsepower and 640 pound-foot of torque. Yes, that is two horsepower less than the Ram TRX. When I asked Carl Widman, chief engineer of Ford's performance division, if it really would have been that big a deal to tune the engine to 705 horsepower, he just laughed. After all, the Raptor weighs roughly 400 pounds less than the TRX. Whitman's response makes sense after spending time both on and off-road in the Raptor R. A few extra horsepower would have only been for bragging rights. The Raptor R feels noticeably lighter on its rubber feet than the TRX in both dynamic transitions and general ride quality. While the engine uses the same 2.7-liter water-cooled inverted supercharger spinning up to 12 PSI of boost as the muscle car, it's been revised for off-road truck duty. Mustangs don't jump into the air, tackle steep grades, or tear through the desert on sand at high speeds. A new supercharger pulley increases low and mid-range torque compared to the Shelby. Unlike the TRX, supercharger wine isn't always present in the cabin and can only be heard when specifically listening for it. The Raptor RS power also doesn't whack instantly, but it hits hard and shoves occupants, along with everything else in the truck, backward after a slight beat for the supercharger to spool. To keep things lubed and cooled, Ford installed a new oil cooler and filter along with a deeper oil pan. For better breathing, a new, wider air intake is paired with a high-flow conical air filter, translating to 66% more intake volume than the Mustang. It's no surprise that the supercharged V8's fire and fury will cost big money even after spending six figures to buy the Raptor R. While off-roading, the supercharged V8 guzzled fuel at the alarming rate of no better than 3 miles per gallon. For those who feel that might not be a fair assessment, during 85 miles of highway driving, the trip computer said I averaged 11.9 miles per gallon. EPA fuel economy ratings aren't available yet. As a reality check, those are similar to the numbers we've seen in a TRX, and not that much worse than a Turbo V6 Raptor. Stay tuned for more real-world testing in the future. The 10-speed automatic transmission has a new calibration to deal with the extra power, but like in the standard Raptor, the gear shifts are rapid, always on point, and become sharper in sport and barger modes. To ensure things don't go boom, a heavy-duty turbine damper and four-pinion rear output assembly were added to the torque converter. Ford also swapped in a 5.0-inch aluminum driveshaft, standard Raptors run a 4.5-inch driveshaft, along with a pinion snubber to keep things from moving too much during hard launches. 
Speaking of launches, the Raptor R lacks launch control. The TRX has it, but Whitman told me, the team is focused on off-road performance, why would you want launch control? This isn't a drag strip truck, the engineer noted. Dive, squat, thrash, repeat. With its enhanced power the Raptor R squats, dives, and rolls like the street legal trophy truck it emulates. All it took was another two cylinders, a supercharger, and 250 horsepower. The Raptor's Fox shocks with remote reservoirs carry over to the R, but the supercharged model sees the front spring rate increased by 5% to account for the V8 powertrain's extra 100 pounds or so on the front axle. Ford hasn't upgraded the brakes from the standard Raptor despite the increased power. In what I could consider extreme but limited testing, two other journalists and I drag raced through the sand continuously for nearly 30 minutes. I consistently pushed the Raptor out to about 70 miles per hour before running out of space and slamming on the brakes. The brakes never faded, but I could smell them after repeatedly hauling nearly 6,000 pounds of pickup back to reality. To ensure the front axle handles the increased speed that will come with the increased power, Ford uses a finned aluminum front differential cover to dissipate heat. Ford also swaps in stiffer front axle bushings and an internal travel limiter. Even with 13 inches of travel up front and 14.1 inches in the rear, I bottomed out the Raptor RS front end three times in about five hours of off-roading. It's able to carry so much speed that potential dangers arrive quickly. In two of the three instances, I launched the truck into the air, and the other occurred after cresting a sand dune and heading into another while carrying far too much speed. The truck didn't care and neither did Ford engineers, who noted that's what bash plates are for. Unlike the more pedestrian Raptor, words I never thought I'd type, the R model only comes on squishy 37-inch tires. There is number 35-inch rubber option, which on the non-R model is the more fun option thanks to less tire weight and the ability to rotate quicker in the sand. The extra power of the R solves most of that problem as the extra weight of the 37s isn't felt as much while giving the truck an approach angle of 33 degrees and an extra 1.3 inches of ground clearance over a Raptor on 35s. Yes, it can be loud. After spending a day blasting over and through sand dunes, I think the Raptor might be too loud. I must be getting old. Whitman told me at full throttle in barger mode, which has the active exhaust dumps open, the exhaust reaches 80 dB in the cab and 130 dB at the tips. As a point of reference, Silver Lake State Park's exhaust noise limit is 94 dB, not that anyone but me seemed to notice that bullet point on the map with the park rules. The second-generation Raptor built from 2017 to 2020 with its twin-turbo V6 didn't sound good. Ford knew it, and we knew it. The current Gen 3 truck fixed that issue with a new exhaust system featuring a trumpet design and equal-length tubing. The result is a sound almost like a straight-piped Nissan GTR mixed with AZ. Thanks for watching. Drop a like. Leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe to watch more videos like this.